Animated headlines can become a very eye-catching element on your landing page to help bring attention to your most important sales text. Seedprod makes it incredibly easy to create, customize, and display animated headlines in seconds. Everyone here at Seedprod loves having you part of the community, so please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Great, so the first thing you wanna do is come over to your WordPress dashboard, and I have a clean install of WordPress here. And next we're going to set up Seedprod. I'm going to be using Seedprod Pro for this example. So please visit seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. Once you're there, let's go ahead and get Seedprod. And if you already have Seedprod and it's installed, please feel free to skip ahead in the video. There should be timestamps in the description below. So go ahead and create your account with Seedprod. Select the account that makes the most sense for you. After you have an account, let's go ahead and click on login. On the left-hand side, let's put in your email address, your password, and click login. Next, let's go to the downloads tab. It's the second from the left. Next, let's click on the big button here to download Seedprod. We also need the license key here in the bottom left-hand side. You can click the little icon here to copy that. And we can close this tab. Next in WordPress on the left hand side, let's come to plugins and add new. Up top, you'll see the upload plugin button. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we can drag this zip file right here and drop it on choose file. You can also click on choose file to select the zip file from your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click on install now and let's activate the plugin. Next, let's go ahead and paste that license key right here and click verify key. If everything was successful, you should see a green success message here. If you're using the same browser or similar, you can close this tab at the bottom. Great, let's go ahead and create our first page. On the left-hand side under Seedprod, let's click on Pages, and we want to create a landing page. Seedprod comes with different modes, such as Coming Soon, so you can create Coming Soon Pages, Maintenance Mode, Custom Login Pages, and 404 Pages. Let's go ahead and create a new landing page, and of course, you can use the animated headline on any of these modes. Next, Seedprod's going to ask you to choose a page template, and there's over 100-plus mobile-friendly and professionally designed templates that you can import directly into your page to give you a great head start, or you can create a blank template here from scratch if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and select a random one here. Once you found one, click the check mark and give it a page name. Name it whatever makes sense for you. You can see that the URL here is updated as well. Now let's go ahead and click on save and start editing the page. Here on the right hand side, we can see the page builder. You can see all of the sections and the rows and the columns. And this is completely customizable, so you can change anything that you see here. And on the left hand side, we have our blocks. And the blocks are extremely easy to use. So on the left hand side, for example, we have a button. We can click on this and just drag it into our page and we'll see the cog wheel here for the block settings if i click this you can see on the left hand side that all of the options change so here i can change the button text subtext link alignment size icons we also have some pre-made templates for some of the blocks not all of them but some of them and here so for example if i want a red button i can update that instantly or if i want a pill button you can see how that changes instantly on the page here we have advanced so you can change the topography background color padding the style of the button text shadow the spacing and the device visibility for mobile and desktop options so if you want to hide this on desktop for example you can click this you can see how it grays out there because i am in desktop view on the bottom here in mobile preview, if I click, you can see that it's not grayed out and that'll appear on the mobile view. To remove a block, there's a little trash can here, so we can click this and delete it. We also have a bunch of advanced blocks here as well. And under here, you can see that we have animated headline. Let's go ahead and drag that right above this part right here where it says sit tight. We can delete the sit tight. And now we have our animated headline here that we can edit. Let's click on the block settings. And on the left hand side, we have the options for the style. So we have highlighted or rotating. So you can see that the text is typed in here. I'm going to put this back to highlighted for this example. And you can change the different options for that specific one. So for highlighted, we have the shape. Right now we have circle, there's curly, underline, double, double underline, zip zag, diagonal, strike through, and an X. So you can see the different use cases for these specific shapes. For this example, I'm gonna put this to curly. And here we have the before text. So that's the text that appears on the left-hand side before. We'll update the text here. So there we go, I changed the text from we all, and then the text that we want animated is love, we all love having you here. And then after the headline is everything on the right hand side, which is the having you here part. And we can change this if we want, you know, do a circle, underline maybe, whatever you wish. We have the infinite loop, so you can change this if you want it to continue forever. The duration of this, so you can speed it up or slow it down, and the delay in between. So right now this would be eight seconds for 8,000 milliseconds. We have the alignment, so this is the text itself where you want this to be placed, and the font size if you want to bring this up a little bit. There you go. And we 
have the level, this is the HTML headlines that you want. So if it's a main heading, then you'd keep it as an H1. You can change that to an H2, H3, or H4. Next, we have the advanced tab here. So we have the topography options if you wish. So you can change the font that it comes with. There are tons of fonts here coming from Google fonts that you can import. Here we have the font size and you can change that on desktop or the mobile version. So if I click mobile, we can change that to make it smaller. Here we have the line height as well. If you want this to have a little bit more room above and below the letter spacing, if you want to space that out a bit, we have the style so you can bold it, italicize it, underline it. And again, the alignment and the letter casing, you can have that all uppercase if you wish. We also have the stroke color here. So right now we have this orange color. You can change that to something else, say blue or black or whatever you wish. And we have the text color as well. So you can change this to something completely different if you like. If you want to put a X shadow here, you can do that as well. You can see there's this little outline underneath that. We also have the spacing. So you have top margin, padding, and device visibility again. And that's it. That's all there is to creating fantastic looking animated headlines in WordPress by using Seedprod. Now that you know how to create animated headlines in WordPress using Seedprod, maybe you'd like to check out this video on how to build a Netflix landing page clone with WordPress. This will build a complete page from scratch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.